Hi, this is Cynthia MacGregor with your Right 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 Now feature. Today, the subject is perseverance, or in other words, don't give up. The uh, Brady Bunch and Gilligan's Island would never have existed without the perseverance of their creator, the late Sherwood Schwartz who struggled for three years to get his shows picked up somewhere. And finally, 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 uh, was, was able to get a spot for them on TV. In books, if you're into novel writing or nonfiction writing rather than, uh, TV script writing, how about the Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, which was rejected time and again and time and again and time and again before it finally found a home. Persevere. Don't give up. The fact that your book is rejected is not necessarily an indication that the book is no good. Now, it's certainly possible that your writing lacks something. It's certainly possible that your organization of your nonfiction book or the plotting of your novel leaves something to be desired. It's certainly possible that your children's picture book is too long or is not what they're looking for these days. But it's also possible that your book is being rejected or your script is being rejected for a reason or a variety of reasons having nothing to do with the quality. For example, the publisher may just have a full plate. The publisher doesn't publish unlimited numbers of books in a season, the publisher publishes only so many, any publisher, any publisher at all, small publisher, big publisher, publishes only so many in each season. And if you approach them when they're booked up for, let's say, the next three seasons, let's say, they will decline, which is the industry term for reject, they will decline your book no matter how wonderful it is. So the fact that they either sent it back with a sorry note or didn't respond at all doesn't mean that you've messed up and not done a good job. There are many reasons for them to decline it. Here's another reason. They may have just uh, published or accepted for publication a book on a similar theme and they don't want to in the same couple of seasons on the same theme. Now that's not uh, to, to, to damn your book. It's reasons that have nothing to do with the quality of your book whatsoever. So don't give up. Persevere. If the big publishers don't want it, try the small publishers. If the small publishers don't want it, try self-publishing. But don't give up. And if nobody wants it, take a, and you don't want to self-publish, take a look at the manuscript, go over it again, see if there is some way you can improve it. And if there isn't, Put it aside for a little while, maybe six months or so, by which time the publishers will be looking at a new season and look at it with a fresh eye. See if there's some way you can improve it and then send it out again. Don't give up. That's the word for today. Persevere. Don't give up. The subject is fiction characters who are too good to be true. You know the expression, he's just too good to be true? Well, some characters are too good to be true. I'm sure that even Mother Teresa had her faults. Believe it or not, she must have. 
and so does everybody else in the world. There is no one in the world who is so good, so wonderful, so totally, absolutely gold standard that they they don't have any faults at all. So your fiction character shouldn't either. Your hero or heroine or any other person, not just the protagonist, but any other character in the book who you are trying to portray as a really good person should have at least one fault or flaw. It doesn't have to be a major one. It doesn't have to be something that makes them less than desirable as a protagonist, but it should be something that makes them human. They're just too good to be true, too good to be true. You want your characters to seem to be true, to seem like they could possibly really exist. If they're perfect in every way, nobody's going to believe about, about them. So make sure that even your most saintly character has a flaw or two or three. Don't make them too good to be true. That's all for today. Till next time, this is Cynthia MacGregor reminding you to pass a smile along.